I end up taking more trains than necessary because I am that type of person. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Being Louisa. Today, I am doing a vlog. Yay! Yay. Um, today, I'm going to University Open Day. Yay! Uh, this has been my first one, and it's City University. I have about two questions, I think, mostly to ask. And then I'm gonna to go, go to the midway free talk just to see what the course is about there, how they offer it, um, how they offer it, what they offer, how they teach it, and all those fun things. I am not going for the whole day, so I'm not sure. I won't have a lot to vlog. I'm just going for about two hours. So I am gonna go find yeah, I'm a commissions person and uh, student finance, and then I'm gonna go and to the midway free talk. So I'll take you guys along with me. I'm in Angel now and I'm on my way to the city open day and I have no idea if I'm actually going the right way so this should be fun isn't that fun when a police car goes by when you're vlogging I think you can like still hear it anyway so yeah so I'm in Angel on way to the city open day and I can't see I don't have sunglasses because I didn't think oh it's gonna be really sunny no I didn't think that but anyway so yeah I think it's like a good 10 minute walk down the road and so many people are looking at me because I'm vlogging. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. It's like really windy. And I'm trying to block the microphone, but hey guys, okay. So this is like my third time filming because so much better lighting and less noise and no wind. Yay! So I am at City University now. I'm just trying to find the place where I have to go and sign in and then the admissions and then go, go to the talk but I think I have to go to the midwifery talk first because I have like 10 minutes until it starts I'm super excited my first open day in I think maybe two three years oh look there's horsies oh I can't show you they're police horsies I forgot police horses go around this area so freaking ginormous they look they are so ginormous anyway see you guys soon bye I got lost like five times, I'm not lying, but it was so good. And I'm just on my way home. So just want to see you every day. It was super awesome. Got all my questions answered that I needed. And I really like it. Like I never considered it as a place I wanted to go, but it's actually really good. Great resources. And yeah, so I'll just want to get home. Hi. Hey, sorry, my phone is being really weird because the sun's being weird. There you go, I think it's a good pattern. Anyway, so I'm back from the city open day and it was so much fun. As I was saying before, like I had never really thought of, oh yeah, I'll go to city university. Like that had never really been on my radar until recently. I looked to see if they even did midwifery, if what the course was like, um, if they accepted access to higher education because some universities don't. And then also what hospitals they're partnered with just to see how close they are to my house if I would have to live on campus or not. I really I liked it, it was so good. It had a really nice vibe to it. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, you know when you go somewhere you're just like, this is calm, like this is very, I don't feel stressed out here. It's not one of those big, big universities. Like the outside doesn't really look like, like a university, I'm not gonna lie. But when you go inside, it's lovely. It You can tell it's a university in the sense of where you can go, you can just go to relax, have fun. The library looks really good as well. That was something I always look at. That looked really nice. Um, the teachers were really nice. Everyone was really helpful there as well. Students were really nice. And it was a really lovely place. The midwifery tutor who was doing the talk, she was really nice as well. And then they had two students. So they were both going on to their second year, I believe. 
and they were lovely they were really helpful answered all the questions I needed to get answered but yeah so they obviously didn't film in the lecture because I was right at the front I was about I think I got there like just like a minute late like it was half past on the dot so obviously other people had already gotten there and they had taken all the seats at the back so I was right at the front and I did not want to have my phone out filming <laughs> that would be really weird so I wrote loads of notes instead Okay, so I didn't actually have any pen and paper, well, I had a pen, but I didn't have any paper, so I wrote all my notes on the city perspectives, I don't know if you can see it, can you see like all my really badly notes, like, yes, yeah, so those are my really terribly written notes, um, you might not even be able to see it, but I like, and it goes, I kind of, it goes midway and then up, so I'm just going to go read them to you, no, I'm not, yeah, okay, so they gave you like some things that you should write into your UCAS, statement um so things about so different reports you should write about just to show that you have a knowledge and passion for obviously the course and then yeah so when it comes down to our distinctions or anything to do with research we at that university they have a lot of researcher lecturers so nearly every lecturer is currently doing research so that's really good like okay so some of the scary things <laughs> i say scary so their intake for 2016-17 so this year this september they, their intake was 74. 74 new students they took on for midwifery. 74 people. That is so tiny. So definitely like start working on your application, like your personal statement and things you can put into your personal statement because 74 people is one thing I liked because I know my friend in Middlesex, she started her a clinical part of the course really early. She started in November or October. I think it was in like end of October, beginning of November. So that's like after about six weeks, she started her clinical practice. So yeah, I'll say about November-ish. But there, this is what I kind of like, is that you get three months of uni training and then the first time back after Christmas. So basically in January, as soon as you come back in January, you start your clinical training. That's really nice. Like up until like December, you just, you're at uni and you're learning and then you go. So that's nice to have like, Three months it's gonna have like three four months of just training and practice at university in a safe environment and then going into the scary hospital clinical setting so that's really cool on the on city university website and in their perspectives actually on the midwifery they might not say anything but access to higher education and a lot of us in that room actually was wondering how come so i went to the i went to the department of health and social care administrations and she let me know that it's because they they just got them back what they're going to do it as and so it's going to be an access to higher education in nursing midwifery or i think they accept social care i'm not sure but you need 30 distinctions and 15 merits so got this to look at it's, it's really helpful just so you can just read it and plus their university website is really good too i also got this cute it's cool it's cute it's really simple city university pen which is amazing by the way it writes so smoothly it's so cool and then i got this city university of london open day well no just city of university of london wristband which i wish people won't wear it'll go on my pile of wristbands <laughs> but it's just a souvenir i guess so that was really cool but yeah so i need to go to work because i actually have about an hour until i have to go to work so i will talk to you guys next week for either another open day vlog or just a how doing the access course is going so we'll see i'll see you guys later bye y'all